Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a certain term or phrase that was removed from Ninjago's vocabulary. And to a lot of people, the removal of this word was very insignificant and completely unnecessary, but we're going to dive into why it occurred, why it was removed, and what the repercussions would have been if Ninjago and Lego had kept the word sensei. Yes, the word sensei is what we're going to be talking about here, which is often a word used in martial arts to describe a teacher or some type of mentor, and in the context of Ninjago, the characters of Wu, Garmadon, Yang, etc. have all used Sensei in the past as their title. However, as a lot of Ninjago fans may have noticed, the word Sensei is no longer used, and instead a lot of those characters are referred to as Master. In terms of why exactly this change occurred, well, let's talk about it. So the word Sensei was used throughout Ninjago starting in the pilots back in 2011 and carried through all the way to Skybound in 2016. However, starting in the summer of 2016, with Day of the Departed, that is when Ninjago changed its terminology from Sensei to Master. Even in other Ninjago media like the Dark Island trilogy, for example, it was no longer Sensei Wu, it was Master Wu, Master Lloyd, Master Yang. Same deal with characters like Garmadon who were no longer in the series at the time. They were retroactively called Master Garmadon instead of Sensei Garmadon. The word Sensei was no longer used. Thankfully, we do have an answer as to why the word Sensei is no longer used in the context of Ninjago, and Ninjago series co creator Tommy Andreessen has given his thoughts as to why Lego changed it. According to this tweet right here from 2016, a Ninjago fan asks Tommy Andreessen why Wu is no longer called Sensei Wu and is instead called Master, to which Tommy Andreessen replies that he will be called Master from now on because the word Sensei has a different meaning somewhere. Similarly, in this tweet right here, also from 2016, Tommy Andreessen confirms that it means too many different things in different cultures. And finally, in this final tweet right here, Tommy Andreessen says that the change happened because of the movie. He's not exactly sure why it happened, but it was probably a cultural thing. So what exactly do these tweets mean? Well, essentially, Tommy Andreessen confirms that the word sensei is no longer used because of the Ninjago movie and because of the fact that sensei could mean different things depending on what culture you were looking at. And this is possibly due to the fact that the Ninjago movie is objectively on a larger scale than the actual TV series. With it being a movie and all, it would be available in more places, more people would see it, and of course, that would mean that they would need to change some terminology to be more politically correct or acceptable to a lot of different people across the world. The world is made up of a lot of different people, a lot of people belonging to different cultures, different religions, things of that nature, and the word sensei does mean different things depending on what language and what culture you are looking at, and I can see why LEGO decided to change it. As the Ninjaga movie was going to be a lot more accessible to more people, they did not want to offend anybody, and as such, the word sensei was changed to master simply because of the Ninjago movie. And obviously the word master is a little bit more ambiguous, that's not going to offend anybody per se. Sensei, yeah, that probably would offend some people out there, even though I personally don't find it to be offensive. Again, more on that later, I can see why some people would and why LEGO wanted to change it for the movie. So starting during the movie's production in late 2015, early 2016, and leading up to its release, Master was going to be the defining title for Wu, not Sensei. So it was no longer Sensei Wu, but Master Wu. LEGO started early with this change, and the Ninjago TV series would soon adopt it. As mentioned in Day of the Departed, Wu is called Master Wu, no longer Sensei. Sensei Wu. In Season 7 of Ninjago, Hands of Time, Lloyd is referred to as Master Lloyd by his fellow ninja during his training to possibly replace Wu. As mentioned, the Ninjago movie used the word Master to describe Master Wu and his title. Master Lloyd would continue to be Lloyd's title in Sons of Garmadon, and Wu was called Master Wu when he finally returned towards the end of Hunted, and so on and so forth, with Master still being used to this day to describe Master Wu's title especially. I can see why the Ninjago community was confused by this whole thing though. A lot of the tweets that we looked at were dated back in 2016 when this change occurred because a lot of Ninjago fans honestly found it pretty unnecessary. And also rather confusing because Master was already a title that was used in Ninjago to describe the Master of a specific element. Master of Fire, Master of Lightning, so on and so forth. But honestly, I'm not really sure what else they could have changed it to. What other term out there would fit Master Wu aside from Master? We can't use Sensei, and Teacher Wu and Leader Wu don't really roll off the tongue very well, so Master 
Master would have to do. And clearly it's been working since Master has been used to describe Wu ever since 2016, and it's pretty much had zero impact on the story, so the change ultimately was unnecessary to some people, but arguably not really noticeable to a lot of others. In terms of my personal opinions and my personal thoughts on this entire debacle, I'm not really bothered by this entire thing, I never really was. When Master Wu's name was changed to Master Wu from Sensei Wu, I really didn't think that it mattered all that much, but it was certainly interesting seeing the community's reactions to it. This is yet another change that can be blamed on the Ninjago movie, and I know a lot of people love to trash the Ninjago movie for a lot of different reasons. I think there is definitely some fair criticism to throw at the Ninjago movie, but the Sensei being changed to Master, that honestly doesn't really need to be critiqued. I'm indifferent to it, I'm very much used to the Master Wu title by now, and it's understandable why LEGO would decide to make a change like this. I could see LEGO panicking in their decision because of similar problems with Bionicle and other LEGO themes in the past, where names had to be changed because they were offensive to real life cultures. And if you don't know that story, I would totally recommend looking it up. LEGO Bionicle was infamously rather offensive to a lot of cultures in its early years, and a lot of phrasing and terminology in that series was changed, much like how Ninjago changed Sensei to Master. I don't think Ninjago is on that big of an offensive scale compared to Bionicle though. That whole controversy was fairly large, and it ultimately changed Bionicle very early on in its lifespan. It's interesting in the case of Ninjago, because Ninjago had been going on for many years at that point when Sensei was changed to Master. But it was still young enough to the point where I really don't think it mattered all that much. With Ninjago nowadays, we've been using Master for longer than we've been saying Sensei. That's just a part of Wu's character at this point, and it was a part of Lloyd's character, but I don't think it's all that big of a deal because like I said, it ultimately doesn't matter in the grand scheme of Ninjago. It's not that hard to say Master as opposed to Sensei, though Sensei Wu, I could see why a lot of Ninjago fans who were fans back in the day would find that change to be rather strange. I also find it strange that Tommy Andreessen himself doesn't really know for sure why this was changed. According to those tweets that we took a look at earlier, it doesn't really seem like he's super familiar as to why the change was made, making me think that LEGO wanted to sweep this under the rug and move on from it as soon as possible. Again, maybe LEGO was scared of a potential controversy, just like was the case with Bionicle back in the day. At the same time though, the change, while unnecessary, like I said, it isn't really that big of a deal. So regarding the story as to why Ninjago changed its terminology from Sensei to Master, that's pretty much it. Long story short, LEGO did not really want to offend anybody, and especially because Ninjago was about to go mainstream with a fully theatrical movie, I could see why they decided to change it. It's just one of those things that changed, and we as Ninjago fans just have to deal with it, but I imagine a lot of us already have. So with that being said guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed listening to this journey as to why LEGO decided to change the word Sensei to Master. And what do you think about all of this? Leave our thoughts down below. Are you personally offended by the word Sensei? Do you find it to be offensive? And do you understand why LEGO made that change? Or do you find it to be completely unnecessary? And this is yet again another thing to blame the Ninjago movie for. Leave all your thoughts down below, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And like I said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace.